Hey guys, Sock here from Socky e Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about One UI 2.0 running on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus with Android 10. I'm going to be talking about all the new features we are getting with the One UI 2.0, and they are in fact amazing. And real quick, I do want to let you know, even though it's right now only available on the S10, S10 Plus, and the S10e, it is going to be coming to the Note 9, Note 10, S9 after Samsung has done their testing. Anyway, let's dive in. In this video, I'm gonna talk about every single new feature for the One UI 2.0, such as this new wallpaper screen, such as the focus mode that we have uh, now. So I'm gonna dive in, I'm gonna talk about all these things, and also we have some night mode enhancements that I'm gonna be talking about. So let's dive in and get started right away. All right, so when I pinch the screen, all right, and if I go to the wallpapers, we now have a new look in the main wallpaper screen. We can see the lock screen wallpaper and the home screen wallpaper right in the preview screen. You can access your My Wallpapers right from here by tapping this one, or you can actually go to the dynamic lock screen wallpapers, which are pretty amazing as well, something that came over from the Note 10. And also, if you want to go into the theme store, you can tap on explore more wallpapers, and you can still go to the theme store and download themes, wallpapers, icons, and uh, always on display screens and all that good stuff. So that's a new wallpaper preview screen. Now we also get an enhancement to the dark mode, to the night mode. So if I go to the settings right now, and if I go to the display, uh, we have the night mode, the dark mode right over here, and a lot of people know what this is. When you enable this, everything's turned into black and white, so you get a nice, easy on the eyes and cool looking interface. But what happened previously was when you enabled dark mode and you, went, and you went back to the home screen, you would still have, if you have a bright wallpaper, it will still be uh, bright and shiny. Now with the new dark mode on One UI 2.0, when you do enable the dark mode and when you go back outside, uh, the home screen wallpaper actually reduces its brightness, okay? So the brightness of the phone doesn't go down, but the brightness of the wallpaper behind the apps actually gets reduced. So take a look at that wallpaper right there. Now if I uh, go back here, uh, disable this, if I go back out, it's gonna be more bright. So dark mode is going to be applicable to any wallpaper in the background. In fact, let's take a look at it real quick. Let's go to wallpapers. Let's do the home screen, all right? I'm gonna set this as a home screen wallpaper. Now if I pull the notifications panel down and enable the dark mode from here, tap on the dark mode, now if I go back out, that wallpaper has lowered its brightness as well. All right, so that's absolutely fantastic back in high brightness. So it now feels more system wide. We do have a new camera app interface. So when you go to the camera, all right, uh, as you can see, we have the live focus, the photo, the video modes right at the bottom, and you can swipe between them just like this. However, when you go over, you're gonna see a new button that says more. So only the basic functions, we do have the live focus video, by the way, uh, that's not available on the One UI 1.1 right now. So we have the live focus video mode, we have the video, photo, and live focus mode, but if you wanna access any extra modes, you have to swipe all the way over and you have this more button, and from here you can choose to go into the pro version uh, of the camera, and once you're in the pro mode, if you wanna go back, you tap on this back button here, or the back button on the top here, they'll take you back into the photo mode. So that's fantastic as well. Let's move on and talk about the focus mode. So if I pull this down, we now have a new focus mode right here. If I click on the text, it expands, and basically the focus mode helps you avoid distractions from your phone and keep your life in focus. I can go to the details, it's gonna go into the actual uh, digital well-being and parental controls option. I can also access that option from here. Go to the settings, scroll down, go to digital well-being and parental controls, and then at the bottom we have the focus mode, and again, what you can do is you can click on one of these focus modes, you can make your own if you want to, all right? But let's click one of them that is already available. So work time, let's say you're at work and you want to not be distracted with your phone. So you tap on the work time and it says focus mode helps you avoid distractions. All apps will be blocked in focus mode except for the apps that you choose to allow. Then you click start and the focus mode is going to start. Once you set up the focus mode, you can toggle it on and off 
right from here uh, from the uh, quick toggles option. So that's the new focus mode on One UI 2.0. And if you look carefully, if you go to the settings, you also have uh, digital well-being and parental controls. That portion, the parental controls portion is new. So if you tap on this one, if you are a parent, uh, you have the option to manage your uh, children's digital life by tapping on this one and get started with uh, Google's family link. Okay, that's another new feature we have here. Another great feature is uh, something that's already on the phones, but it's been modified. So if I go to the settings and if I go to the device care, the look and feel of the entire device care for battery storage, memory security has changed and you have some new options. So I can go into the battery and it's gonna look a little bit different. I can also tap on battery usage and it's gonna be a really nice breakdown that looks more modern than the current interface that we have. So with One UI 2.0, you get this new beautiful interface and you have new options such as the wireless power share. So this is the main screen. You go to the battery, you have the wireless power share feature here. When you click on it, you are actually able to turn off wireless power share if your battery on your phone reaches a certain level. This is a brand new option. So right now my battery limit is set to 40%. So if I was using the wireless power share on this phone to charge another phone or a smartwatch or whatever on the back of my device, I can have that feature turn off when the battery hits 40% and that is to save battery life uh, for, the, uh, for this phone so it doesn't give all its power to some other phone. All right, and then we have the storage section. Again, looks a little bit different as you can see. Okay, you get the same kind of information, but it's gonna look a little bit different. You go back out, you can go to the memory. Again, we've got the new look. I'm really liking and digging this new look. And that's that. Now let's uh, move on and see what else we have. Now one thing I did forget with the camera is if I go back into the camera, and let's say I wanted to zoom in and zoom out, let's just zoom in a little bit. What you'll notice at the bottom is now you have these buttons that allow you to quickly zoom in from 0.5 to 1 to 2 or all the way up to 10 times zoom uh, quickly and easily uh, with these convenient buttons at the top, all right? So that's going to be available for zooming in and zooming out. It's actually nice to have these easily clickable like that. The next thing that we have is we have new navigation gestures. So if I go to the settings, uh, if I go into the display, and if I scroll down over to my navigation bar, we have two settings normally, okay? So we have navigation bars and full screen gestures. Now the full screen gestures now is gonna be a little bit different. So if I tap on this one, now I only gonna have one button at the bottom. Now if you tap on more options, you can uh, pick the old style that we have right now on One UI 1.1. But on One UI 2.0, you have the swipe from sides and bottom option. This makes it more like an iPhone, so I can, uh, more like Android 10 actually. So if I pull it up and if I let it go, I can access the um, apps. Uh, if I just pull it up all the way, it goes to the home screen. And if I'm inside a, um, a menu item, let's go to sounds and vibration. If I wanna go back, all I do is go like this, okay? Slide to the side to go back. Go to display, slide to the side, and it's gonna take you back. Anywhere on the screen, I can go like this. All right, so those are the new navigation gestures that we have under the navigation bar here. Remember, if you want the old version, you tap on more options, you still get access to all the old versions. All right, and the other thing that we have that's pretty amazing is the new enhancements to the one-handed mode. So if I go down over here, uh, to the main settings, go to advanced features. The one-handed mode is gonna be right here, okay? Let's enable that real quick. And if I go inside to activate the one-handed mode, I can now basically just uh, swipe in the middle down just like this. And it's gonna activate the, uh, the one-handed mode so much more easier, okay? So all you do, again, if I tap here in the black area, it goes back to business. At the center at the bottom, just press and pull down and that activates the one-handed mode. Now, if I go back to my navigation and gestures really quickly, uh, right over here, and if I go back to my navigation bar, let's just pick the buttons, all right? Now, let's go back to the one-handed mode, and now you're gonna see a brand new option. So over here with the one-handed mode, I can also pick the button option to activate the one-handed mode. 
I can just double tap this and it's going to work, okay? I can also just swipe it down like this and it's going to activate that if I pick the gesture. There we go, all right? Fantastic. All right, the next thing has to do with your My Files application. So let me go to My Files application and it's going to be right here in the Samsung folder. When I click on it, uh, now what we have is if I delete a file, let's say I just grab this file and I delete that file. Let's just delete that real quick. Uh, what happens is when you delete a file in the past, there was no way to recover that file. Now when I tap on this button, we have a trash button into which I can go and I can edit and I can recover that file by tapping restore or uh, get some details or whatever. I can tap restore, boom, goes right back into where it came from. So that's the restore feature, the trash feature in the My Files application. Fantastic. Let's move on. Now, one more thing that's uh, new with the uh, One UI 2.0 is the fingerprint sensor has been enhanced. So when I lock the phone and if I double tap to bring up the screen and if I log in, it's going to be much faster and it's going to be more secure because it has to follow the new security policies of Android 10. So that's great as well. Faster, more secure fingerprint. And that's basically all the new features that we have uh, regarding the uh, One UI 2.0 with Android 10 on the S10 for now. And remember, all these features are also going to come to the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus and the Note 9 and the S9 and the S9 Plus. They're just using the S10 for this beta testing for now. All right, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, let me know, drop those comments down below. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?